Welcome to another exciting episode of Toast Ridey on GH1 Television. Like we promised you, this season is going to be nothing short but amazing. But before I let out the little secret in our little box, let me introduce my awesome ladies we have. My name is Mimi Hay. I am Vanessa Danso. Okay, and guess what Fina is cooking? What's Fina cooking? Nigeria Jello. <laughs> Literally go head to head with her. You know, yes. three against one. Exactly. Let's see who wins. Hopefully, the Jalop will do the talking, yeah. right? Absolutely. I'm, I'm looking forward <laughs> to the Jalop doing the talking. Okay, but I mean, once we're cooking, we'll definitely be giving you a little insight of who she is and also like chat here and there, right, yeah. ladies? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Bibi Niger conversation to have. Mm. A lot of it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but a little intro for your viewers, I mean your fans out there that have been keeping up with you, excited to have you here in Ghana. Okay, mm -hmm. okay guys, so it's Fina right here and it's what's Fina cooking, as you all know. So my visit to Ghana, I decided to have the smack here in Ghana. You already know what smack means, the streets made of queen. Okay. So going out to the streets to give Ghanaians our delicious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, well, um, I jollof rice. I want Nigeria jollof. So, so she says, oh, so she says. But I mean, we'll, we'll have it that way. Yeah. We'll have it that way. No so problem. should we get cooking? Let's get cooking. Right. So first, I already have my water on fire for okay. so my chicken. So oh, I'm going to start with the chicken. I'm going to start with the chicken. Wait, wait, wait hold on. So you, you <laughs> No, no. Minus, one. No. minus one. Okay. No. So you love the chicken first. This is Ghana. You can't oppress me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so because mm -hmm. I am trying to to mm -hmm. be very fast, mm -hmm. so I will be cooking my chicken first. <laughs> she boils the chicken first. Because yes, she I boil my chicken first. Thing, you boil I'm your going to first. season. Wow. Hold on. Hold okay. it. She said, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is me putting in the chicken. Yeah. And um. After putting all the chicken, I'll now add my spices. Right. Okay. As you notice, I didn't use too much water for the chicken because chicken already has water. Do you know that, you don't? Oh, you're teaching us. Yes. The so, Nigerian way. The chicken has mm -hmm. water in it already. I yes. didn't know. So you don't need too much water. Yeah, well, much Fina the scientist is, is here to let us. Yeah, yeah. Really. <laughs> she's teaching us Nigerian jollof. She's also giving us a bit of science. Yeah. <laughs> so that That's brilliant. Now. This is salt. Okay. okay. Salt. Mm -hmm. okay. So you add seasoning. Mm -hmm. I'm sauce. going to add everything here, so the seasoning okay. powder, then salt. Okay. But let me ask you this: Does this make the chicken cook faster? Mm -hmm. it does okay. Okay. That's so just be patient. Let me show you what Nigeria jello. She's really oh, trying to prove a point. Jesus, that impressed me. She's because trying to prove a point. point. Already <laughs> minus ten. No, you're not minus nothing. <laughs> it's okay, ten over so ten minus nothing, huh? Like this is like our rosemary, rosemary. Okay. thyme and bay leaf okay. okay to season your chicken, chicken. Yes. okay great so you know this already yes <laughs> but we usually do it the correct way <laughs> <laughs> is the correct way so imagine the bay leaf now this is the correct way so you know <laughs> so we usually do it the correct okay. way <laughs> okay so that's it i'm going to add Onions. Onions. Do you add onions? Of yes, course. Do, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we do. We need blend out. Uh, this coupled with really ginger and onion no, and, and I, garlic. I don't ginger or garlic here. So I don't see it. Calm down. There Calm will down. be a tangible excuse. Calm. Anyways, whilst we watch yeah. her go through that, we'd like to talk a little bit about your time at the BB Niger house. Mm -hmm. Some of the experiences that made you feel like, if I come out, I am dead. What was the things you did in the house that made you feel like, nah, I, I, I swear I'm not coming out. If I come out, I'm dead. Well, was there such a moment? I doubt I had such a moment oh. because everything that was going on in the house mm -hmm. were normal things that were just happening mm -hmm. because I was actually living my reality in the house. And right. Yeah. There was nothing I was actually scared of saying, okay, when I come out, I'm dead. Nah. They said you were daring. I mean, social media was talking while you were at home. So while you were in the house, mm -hmm. you were daring. You were playing the game the way you're supposed to. Do you think that you were just doing what you were supposed to do or you had a, a game plan? Well, what was going on in the house was... Is it kind of Fina? Yes, thank you. It was Fina. Mm -hmm. I wasn't playing... We know Ghanias, yes, we have the stripes, so... <laughs> Oh my god! 
my Nigerian <laughs> girl. Thank you. This is your your official name. Is <laughs> Before I get to Nigeria, they deport me back. <laughs> Yeah, so the the whole thing in the Big Brother house was just normal lifestyle okay. yeah, you get. So that was like a normal lifestyle that I was just living in the house. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have the slogan that goes, the street made a queen. Smart. Obviously. The street made a queen. Obviously. It's like you're ready to go head to head with your head one. But you know yes. the street made a queen. Mm -hmm. Life before Big Brother Niger, what was that like for you? Yeah. So, live before Big Brother, it wasn't the streets made a queen yet, because there was no queen. Okay. <laughs> but were you on the streets? So, you like a street girl? Yeah, when we say street girl, when we talk about street most times in mm. Lagos, in Nigeria, it's always like upper class and lower class. Okay. Mid, sorry, middle class and lower class okay. kind of people. So when you literally say someone is from the street, so you're, you're trying to say the person it comes from a poor... Yeah, not a matter of matter. Yes. Mm. So I that's like what mm -hmm. At least we have a few terms. <laughs> okay, so no, look, Paco is for Nigerians, Paco. actually. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> We're really here to claim a lot of titles. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, all right. life in, uh, I mean, life after. Mm -hmm. Big crown. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This thing smells good. It does. It's, it's good. Good. like, bro, just. Just it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> yeah, winning means more, more. You too, you no. know. Do you have to be deported? No. Okay. <laughs> She's about to be like blue like on their part. It's smelling good. It's smelling good. Yeah. So why right after being crowned the street queen, mm -hmm. what did that come with? And what are some of the responsibilities you would say you had to embark on? Well, um, okay, after winning the show, I would say I didn't really have to do much. I just enhanced things that I had already started okay. before. And I just started doing things that I already told myself that when I get to this stage of life, I want to be doing this. Yeah. You get so what are some of these things? Well, the major one was me giving out. You get, so I am very big on giving out. A charity. Uh, yes, charity. And there are some businesses I would say, ah, I want to have this when I have money. I want to do this. So at least I'm doing them now. Mm. What are some of the businesses you do? So first, I'll say I have an Austrian agency. Okay. I have uh, bikes for logistics. Mm. Um, I have a clothing line. Okay. Um, currently do you have a size 14? Mm. I mean, <laughs> do you specifically have a size 8? No. Are you a size 8? I'm between 8 and 10. You should. I'm a 14 though. <laughs> yeah, 14. We are cleaning our clothes. <laughs> Mommy, Mommy, I'm not I'm, listen, listen. I'm, I'm keeping my size to my job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is hot water. Okay. 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 So, mm -hmm. most times, some people parboil their rice. Mm -hmm. But myself, I don't. I just get hot water, mm -hmm. pour in the rice. Okay. Then, I add salt yes. to it. You see what's going on here? Shocking yes. things, things are happening. Things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> so I this is how I love happening. to prepare my own jello. Add the amount of salt you put in? Yes, it's just to wash it. Oh, right. To remove okay. the sands ah, and ah. everything that is not supposed to be in it. In the rice. Yes. So also the starch would also come, come oh, out. Okay. Yes. Mm. So it's a much healthier way. Cooking rice? I, I, I won't say it's much healthier, but I, this it's is the one I like. Yes. Okay. Sure. And you know, sometimes when you parboil the rice, as you're parboiling it, mm -hmm. it starts cooking and the yes, rice. Yes. Yeah. yes. And when you're not making your jollof, it makes it stick together. And mm -hmm. yes. You like your jollof to move one after the other. Yes. One more. Like Ghanaian English. <laughs> fina, fina, fina. You know, when it comes to me, I'm all about the money. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm all about the money. money. Let me ask you this. During your reign um, as a winner of mm -hmm. Big Brother Niger, mm -hmm. what are some of the big endorsements and big deals you signed? Because when it comes to Nigeria, we all know. We that know. They we like know, guys. We hear the opportunity, you know. They so. Okay. Uh, so you're going to leave the rice for a while. Before you answer that, you're going to leave the rice there for a bit. I'll take it off soon. Okay. Yes. Right. So. Um, big deal is okay. I've got Rizari Skin Secret. It's, okay. it's, it's a um, a cream brand, and their products um, really, really, really top notch. And there's a lot of people watching in the house. Mm. And if there was something I, I, if there was something that they used in in um, insulting me, then they would say, "Ha, ah, skin is not even fine." Mm -hmm. and it's just, just. Just, just Lego the skin. Oh, but that, that's the skin that is, is dying. <laughs> <laughs> but 
don't I, really, I, I barely hear people say Nigerians don't have fine skin. No, but no, no, the house. some of the housemates, okay. we got that a lot. Okay. Yeah. We didn't have fine skin, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So I came out and the cream brown signed me. That was like a big deal with who When, so when Glyph yeah. makes lemonade for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lemonade. yeah. And also, yeah. not just that, uh, a, uh, a weight loss product also signed me. Okay. I also got the backlash. Oh, if not, tummy is big. Oh, mm-hmm. tummy is big. Well, I didn't create myself, so my tummy is meant to be big or flat, anyone. But then the weight loss product, Speedy Weight Loss, signed me. Okay. And I've been using their products. Come now, I can wear crop top. Abby. I can wear whatever I want to wear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in shape. Yes, you know same. what? I yes. hate to admit it, but this mm-hmm. kitchen is smelling really? amazing. I'm just trying to let you know. But you know, sometimes food can smell good, but then they taste. Good. So we will be the judge of it. But in the meantime, okay. let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> us you made the right choice because the show here we're cooking Nigeria Jolo yes. we're Ghanaian yes. products yes. We're, we're Ghanaian products. <laughs> so I don't know what they're talking about but Fina is giving us giving us the Niger vibe in the room and yeah. um, she's trying not to lose the battle but I hope she doesn't because we're here we're here so we're still cooking there Nigeria we're, still we're still cooking we're still cooking, we're still cooking. But you want to whilst we continue cooking you want to tell us why you're in Ghana why we're having this cookout. So we're, having our, we're having our own cookout. <laughs> yes. They're the best people that win. I'm yeah. telling you. Okay, so I came to Ghana to right. also establish business. Like okay. I came to like check out the place. Okay. And I actually like it. Mm-hmm. I love you better. <laughs> like you don't have a choice at yeah. this point. This is not a of choice. This is me in mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. In, a, in in a country where we sent out the people and I said, okay, let me just come, you know, and help them. Mm-hmm. And I'm yeah. I care <laughs> so I'm coming to help you. Oh, wow. you. <laughs> Are you sure you want to really build this business in Ghana? I will. Are you sure? <laughs> All the best, honey. Okay, tell us about this cookout we're having here. Yeah. Okay, so this is for Smark, the streets made the queen. I did it in Nigeria. Okay. I I. I they made cooked food, got things for children and um, nursing mothers and okay. we get. So I visited Ghana and I'm like, okay, I was so this is my fourth day in Ghana mm-hmm. and I'm going oh. back to okay. Yes. And I said, Okay, Best let me do way. this because I have a lot of fun. So if I, I didn't know I had so much fun yes. in Ghana. Good to be in Nigeria. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know I had so much fun. So coming here. And I already told myself that I'm going to do smart in all African countries. Oh. But this is not like the original smart that I would do. I come back to Ghana and do this again. We have, we have seen your smart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you saw it, right? Well. So I'm like, okay, let me just do something for people in the streets because mm-hmm. I have great love for them. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing is too small. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's why I'm taking my time. To do this, this. Oh, but I'm actually really interested in what's Fina cooking? Isn't like this a project you have on your own or something? Yes, yeah, so I have a cooking show already. Okay, oh, okay. It's what's Fina cooking? Right. Yes, yeah. yeah, so. Ah, yeah. So you're like like a good good cook. I am. Yeah, like I know you know how to cook. From from Yodabasi to Fina. <laughs> no, we all know how to cook in Nigeria. So she says you know when I said chicken has water? You know the water I added yeah, wasn't yeah. this much. It was mm. really little shit. <laughs> See, you're, you're, you're the only person you have to convince in the whole We'll come back to her trying to convince me, but let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Right. The modern day woman, mm-hmm. it looks like the notion of having your wife, I mean, a wife, go to work, come back, mm-hmm. even with all your uh, being a career woman and everything. Mm-hmm. You know, back then, when you think about a wife, that's what comes to mind. Yes. You know, rushing home to come mm-hmm. and cook for your. Okay. But right now, it looks like there's a shared responsibility when it comes to the home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you go into a lot of like, family homes, yeah. you have the man who's catering for it. Well, if the man is a good cook, he usually cooks, yeah. and the wife washes the dishes and yeah. whatnot. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's mandatory for every woman to know how to cook and to cook for their husband, irrespective of whether your husband can cook or not? 
Well, I I feel it's not compulsory a woman should know how to cook. Okay. Yes, it is not compulsory. Now the narrative has changed. Mm. Women are now pushing for those things men also want to get. Mm. Women are now getting into politics. Mm. Women are now general managers to banks. Mm. Women are doing a lot. Mm. So you cannot come and because you cannot get married to an educated woman, a woman that has BSc, masters, and everything, and come and say, come and be preaching tradition, telling her to stay in the kitchen and cook. Do you but, think that we can strike the balance? We can do both. Like we can be, we can be all of that. We can be the 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 cultured woman yes. who also is very, very, mm -hmm. very business minded and also you know look, this new age oriented. I, I love that you said that because mm -hmm. it looks like lately mm -hmm. a lot of the men are even scared to get married to a woman that has I like a career woman yeah. when you're overly qualified they yeah. feel like nah this, 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 well, girl, yes. this lady won't have time it, for the it's, home. it's it's the same thing yeah i'm saying the same thing so it's now left to the woman that is where we now know a well-cultured woman mm. so that's why i say most times as a woman no matter who you are no matter how rich you are mm. no matter your qualifications you should still try and know that yes you're married and the man is the head of the family mm -hmm. So if, if, if the woman is good at multitasking, mm. she can be a, a full housewife and also be a career, a career woman, woman. Right. and it will be balanced. Mm. But if the man is this kind of man that wants to impose, you cook, you must cook, you must cook, and you're a career woman, well, I'll tell you to deal with your wife. <laughs> 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 but for a woman that do not know how to cook, yeah. that's not a problem. But but she should not know how to cook and be useless at least she should she should, she should not know how to cook ah. and at least be well mannered mm -hmm. do your work not like you don't know how to cook you don't know how to just do anything, anything and you are now rude my tagline is do not know <laughs> so in other words <laughs> finish right and to say like, you cannot be disrespectful and not know how to cook yes <laughs> that's what i'm saying you can't cook like you can't have you cannot be disrespectful and not know how to cook yes <laughs> So in, in your mentioned. submission, you made mention of women who go into politics and then banking. I'm only I'm interested to find out this. You mm -hmm. know that your past election, we have so many people from the showbiz industry yes. attempts to do politics. Do you see yourself doing that soon? I would do politics. Ah, I would definitely go into politics later. Okay. You thought I was going to do this? <laughs> This is an upcoming politician. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 But I do see the energy, though. Yeah. The, and the passion for yeah. humanity. Exactly. So that's so that's what what I, we need, are, you, are you doing this with a street in mind? Yes. Okay. Like that's the point. Mm. To be in politics, be in opposition, and remember that okay, there are people that need that focus. Yeah. Mm. Like if I should hold a power in politics now that is really really great, and I have the power to cut down the rate of school fees in okay. Nigeria yeah. and cut just cut down a lot of things. Nepa bills. Like that Nepa that you don't have the light that you have you get oh. when you came to Ghana did you see all that light here? Yeah. <laughs> All that lie. Oh, okay, I agree. No. I agree. You, yeah. I'm not arguing now. It's only this your love. I don't want problem. Yeah. Uh, I give the lights to you. I give yeah. electricity yeah. to Ghana. Okay. Yeah. I've not seen that news since I came. Yeah. Okay. Light, light, light. One for Ghana, guys. On an easier note, yeah. um, Tina, mm -hmm. I like cooking and the passion for um, politics. Do you have any hidden talent? Can you sing? Can you dance? I can, I can, I can dance. I used to be a you dancer. Can dance? Yes. Can you I do the latest dance um, challenge for us? Which one? You think there's a lot of dances on I'm TikTok I'm now. I'm piano. I'm trying to. There's, there's one that goes like this. Yes. Which one? This one. The one the. Yes. I'm a piano. Piano. Steadily. Yes. But what do you think about Ghanaian music? So, do you know music? It's, it's the post for me. You should have seen Mami when she asked you the question. Ghanaian music. What do you think about Ghanaian music? Yeah. That is chalked away for Thank the answer. You. Ghanaian music. Yeah. So I, I, I have... We're not trying to compete with this one. We're just asking you okay. guys. Thank God say you know. <laughs> Thank God say you know. But we're just asking yeah, no, you know. Just well, well, well ask, Ghanaian you know. music, try. You try. Uh, we they see, we they see try. We see the level. Mm, now they try. <laughs> is this so one? now, Ghana is won. Nigeria won. Yeah, okay. Thank no. you. your love for both ends this fight. I don't, okay. I don't get strength. You see, this is the Obasabi business that you be doing. Then the love right to come out. Yeah. Is great <laughs> that you know. No, please, please, your love. Don't do this to me. <laughs> okay, but we're, we're, we're in um, the month of 
June. 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 Yeah. Um, how's the year been so far, and what are some of the projects you've been able to embark on? June, since October last year, 2022, when I came out of the house, my life has changed. Okay. I've been doing a whole lot of things, a whole lot of things that some I don't want to talk about because they are, you know, and so like I've just been doing everything I've always wanted to do. Okay. Just this. You're very this, fulfilled. Yeah, this point. mark I'm doing now, I actually thought about it while I was while, while I was boarding, okay. coming to Ghana, and All I tweeted right. about it. Is it possible to do Like, that's how I operate. It just comes into my head, and I'm always happy that I can do it. I have the money. I would just think, and okay, I do. It's not the one that I would think and start thinking of how to, how get, to get the money. money. Yeah. Yes. As in, you get. As you get. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's a saying that fame can change people. Mm -hmm. There's a blessing and a curse when it comes to fame. That's yeah. what a lot of people out there don't know. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you used to love doing? Like, you found joy doing some of the blessings you had but right now you feel like maybe it's been taken away from you that you it's no longer okay. can do well mm -hmm. so when you say fame changed people mm -hmm. it didn't change me oh. okay the only thing that changed about me is my this skin is like girl, it's and like. my account balance is going you get okay. <laughs> so everything i used to do before i'm still doing them now okay. i in fact now those things go 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 and what they do so I, I have not changed anything yet. I'm still me. You get I'm just still me. Do you think that when you go out there you're you're pressured to live a certain type of lifestyle? Do you feel like Nigerians give you that pressure? Because there is pressure in because Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Only that, the that is, AMBC that we saw yeah. this year we know. So tell yeah. us, do you feel like you're pressured to well, live a certain type of life? Yes, the, the, the pressure is there. Everybody wants me to now start acting classy. Mm -hmm. You get the pressure is actually there, but I'm not giving into that. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do me and me alone. Mm -hmm. So the ANVCA thing to yes, the competition is high. So that's why I don't compete. I just do me. Mm -hmm. So when the ANVCA was on and they were, you need to come to this red carpet. This where we know the best makeup. Yeah. where we know the best dresses. Where we know the best hair. I didn't go for any of it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, because like you figured it all out. Yeah. I want to ask you this. Yeah. A friend of mine is going through a situation, mm -hmm. and I want to ask for your advice, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So she has this serious relationship going on, right? Okay. And they've been having a lot of issues mm -hmm. because she is that type of woman that when she's dating you, she feels like let's exchange passwords. What do you? Oh, have password. passwords. Passwords. <laughs> What's your thoughts about mm -hmm. being in a relationship and your boyfriend maybe asking you? For your password do you, do you believe in sharing passwords in Please. relationships in everything you go through when we are dating let us date in peace so you don't believe in sharing passwords? please don't come close i'm not cheating mm. i'm not doing but anything you have to hide okay this is it i'm actually cool with my man checking my phone okay i'm cool right but me going to his phone no no adam Adam, they would. That's oh, machine. Adam. That's machine. <laughs> Adam. Like, even if, even if he's not cheating, he doesn't want to. You will see something. Sure. So, so I was watching sexy. one of those podcasts, Nigerian podcasts. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. so you know, Adam, they find for that phone, you will find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so you will there. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. waiting for And the scariest thing is, we always go through the phone and end up crying as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, yeah. you go through the phone, and then you're sitting down like, 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 you're sitting have you ever been a victim of this? Have you ever gone through your man's phone? I have, and I didn't like it. So since then, I advised myself. Okay. In Ghana, in Nigeria, I had water. water. <laughs> I had water. <laughs> no, I had it. But you have to add it up water. She did. We can have help. Add it water. Okay. No, 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 no. That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. Okay, so help me blend it to my We'll help you blend it. Don't worry. Nigerians will love with Ghanaian help. So, I, I, I do not advise a lady mm. should go through her boyfriend's phone. Okay. Right. That's not your phone. Don't go through somebody's phone. How about a blend, guys? Yeah. <laughs> but you see, that's me working. It's faster. That's like too much water. <laughs> Don't worry, that's the water that will go on the right. <laughs> Do you cry? Yes. Do you don't cry. cry. <laughs> what should we just ask? Do you cry? <laughs> wow.
This is my chicken water. Yes, mm. Tom. There's been a lot of conversation about um, the LGBTQ um, law being passed. Yeah. Yeah. What? LGBTQ. Okay. So what's your stance on this particular topic? Being passed away. With a recent in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That they're, they're not very. No, yes. they're not allowed to, you know, get involved in any homosexual activities yes. whatsoever. Well, what's what's your take on that? Yes, the remaining months. Well, let's well, put all of this inside the law. I'm thinking about it. No, yeah, this is enough. enough. Mm -hmm. So, about the LGBT head. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, um, well, I feel we shouldn't question people's sexuality. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody knows what they like. It's just like there are some girls that personally, I, 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 I like dark tall guys. You get. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their fake. There are some girls that like short guys with big tummy. That's what's happening to those people that like their fellow girls. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening to those people that like their fellow guys. The Bible says, Thou shalt not judge. Let us leave them to God. But you know, when you use the Bible as well, the same Bible also speaks against, against it. it. Exactly. And that is why, where he has already said, Do not judge. That is where you stand. Yeah, so let us leave the judgment. <laughs> For God to handle. Okay. You, you, uh, so I have a, I have a thought of okay. Listen, everybody can do whatever they want to do, mm -hmm. but n let's not come and force this thing down our throats. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we started having sexual, which all of us are virgins, so I mean, yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. Are you not? I am. Uh, I know, we are virgins in Ghana. Do you know that? I know. I know. <laughs> I, well, so, okay. Okay. Yeah, in Ghana. so, so just like we do not come on social media to come and talk about oh the rights of um of a straight person yeah. or someone who is interested in the opposite sex that's, that's i feel like whatever you decide to do what you're it's up to you it's it's up you just don't even force it down mm -hmm. your toes so in america we have teachers going to school dressed up like women mm -hmm. and then getting upset that parents are pulling their students out of school because of what they're doing mm -hmm. and we have uh, people teaching um so just a couple of years ago we had to protest against a certain bill that was about to curriculum. be passed in ghana yeah added to ghanian curriculum yeah. for children to learn about these um sexual um education not school, education and to be oriented, oh. and, to be oriented. Yeah. And, and we are pushing against it the plan is to get people to just say that oh it's fine have but it normalized but but we we do not want to normalize it yeah, and we, and we, we, we shouldn't force it down anybody's throat yeah. i think that everybody can do whatever they want to do with their bodies mm -hmm. but just don't come and push it down nobody's mm -hmm. throat but what is the situation in nigeria are they strict when it comes oh, to well, those in activities nigeria, oh we've seen james brown though james brown has been tormented though in, in nigeria <laughs> it's it's not allowed it's, okay so when you're doing it you're doing on a low or you're just ready to overcome the whole risk mm -hmm. you get so it is not Allowed, allowed in okay. Nigeria. But there hasn't been an official. Is it like? Is it a crime? Is it like a Well, I have not. I have not heard our government talk about it. Mm. But I have seen where they will catch and they will beat the living daylight out of them. Ouch! You get. Yeah. We don't also appreciate we'll that. We're just saying that you know. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. You know, let, let, let me ask you this. It, it seems in Nigeria there's, there are a lot of blogs. A lot of blogs. blogs in like, Nigeria. Yes, like the, the, I think you guys have too much. Like maybe a little bit more than even Ghanaian do. There's that always a j there's Niger just blogs, yeah. just box yeah. them. Uh, all this. Uh -huh. Bella Niger. What's the what's the most thing. craziest thing you've ever heard? A blog writes about you. The craziest. I hear story. crazy things all the time. I've even forgotten which is craziest. Mm. So I like I am a regular customer. Sometimes mm. I wake up and I see what I don't know. So okay. So what are some of the things you've said about you? A lot, a lot of things. Mm. Lot. Do you think uh, a law needs to be passed against ghost block bloggers? I, I, blogs feel, I feel that white things to tarnish one's image. Yeah. People, yeah. I feel they should be arrested. Actually, I feel they should. I feel they. I feel bloggers should actually have a, a, an organization because at this point, a lot of them they are doing. They they are doing doing too there's much. not an industry, there's not like a body that is regulating what there's they no, do. Yes, they don't have a no. body that regulates what they do and what they put oh, out there. My, my so I feel is, they should be. My mom is calling No, she shouldn't call, please. <laughs> but do you, think, do you think one could ever be ready for this side of fame when it comes to bloggers writing things mm. negatively about you? I'm not sure People putting your business out there, yeah. you going, I'm sure you can't even go to a restaurant with a normal guy and probably be ah, yeah. Let's let it be out of 
Because were you ever prepared for this journey? I was. I, I never thought. I never knew it was going to be like this. Mm. But coming in and I'm seeing how bloggers are running mad about me. It's it's just giving me one. I don't know. I I am just adjusting to it, and the way I'm adjusting to it is a very stubborn way. Like mm. I am ready. You get so, and by God's grace, like any bus goes. Yes, yeah. and by God's okay. grace, any blogger I catch, ah, hey, you beat them. It's not beat, so we go. They go court. Wow. We go just they go. Wow. We go just they go. Do you think that the law in Nigeria helps you? guys in, in in these situations yes. in ghana is very effective you turn in someone's image you're going to court you're going to pay the fine in ghana right yeah, when yeah, you yeah. turn in someone's image you go to court and then the person drives you to court you're going to deal with it like they're going to deal with you real bad yes. but i so I i'm not like, sure there's anybody that has actually done that in but, nigeria right yes but oh. me there is one particular one that i'm doing soon because it's oh, wow okay much. i see but back see. to the food i'm sorry lady. Before, i'm like it, where, where, where have we got to Tina, to I'm get, I'm to your chicken so this is the chicken Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you how it tastes like. We are waiting for that. Mm. I don't trust your judgments at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you are leaning more to the Nigerian side. No, please. I'll know you. How do you put this off? I'll tell you the Okay, truth. In, in Nigeria, in Ghana, this is how we do it. But you just put off everything. Sorry. You just Last put off everything. Only so, this so, one. The Nigerian artist, the Ghanaian artist. I've told this girl. See? In Ghana, well, we have electrical. <laughs> we have uh, electrical in Nigeria. <laughs> everything is big. Please here don't go for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm about to make the jello fries. Okay. okay. So with this oil, I used in frying. Yes, okay. okay. I'm going to pour it in this pot. Okay. I would have oil. used a sieve. Okay, to remove these things. Okay. So Fina, the whole idea for this cooking thing is today we are blessed and honored enough to do this journey with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. After cooking, we're going to package the food yes. and we're going to go out there on the street and give them out to mm -hmm. you. How many I mean, kids? So I have a budget of hundred. Hundred. Wow. Yeah, but the way that, that's going, that I us. think we have more. Does what? that include us? The hundred? No, no. Are you a children? Oh, no. Are you a children? Yeah, child of God. You're a child of God. You're a children of God. I'm an yeah, infant, so. actually. Oh, wow. So, I'm just 16 years old, actually. Me, yeah. Yeah, so I have, um, I have a budget of 100 kids, mm. and that's it. Do okay. you see the style of cutting onions? This is how you cut onions in Nigeria. We cut onion different size. Could be round. This round that I'm doing is a very professional one. It's not everybody that can cut onion round. Um, like mm, I can do that. How? <laughs> oh, yeah, give her a knife now. Is that this a one. It's not argument. You just give knife. Can't. <laughs> what are some of your expectations for today? For today, mm -hmm. you mean here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Connecting with the children out what there. Is it for? your first time out on the streets here this in Ghana? Here well? in Ghana, okay. yes. And my only expectation is to see them smile. Aww. Aww. Yes. Well, on that smile note, we're going to go for a quick break. When we return, we are still cooking. Our own cookout run is happening here <laughs> yes. inside. Um, uh, Fina's Kitchen, right? Yes. Yeah, What's Fina cooking? What's Fina cooking? Welcome back to Toast right here on GH1 Television. We are still cooking in here. Yes, you have missed a lot, but you haven't missed much. This is the exciting part, the part where we get to eat. <laughs> We've been paying for the past how many hours? <laughs> well, we're doing Nigerian Jollof with Fina here on the show today. With Ghanaian help. Oh my God. Uh, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You will not get allow this Nigerian girl to just shine. <laughs> and Ghanaian product. And Ghanaian product. Okay, guys. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting to some interesting conversations. Yeah. Uh, what's the most daring thing you have done in your entire life? The daring most daring thing? thing? Yeah. Oh, I think he's... The most daring thing was when I picked it up to be a hype woman. And I knew it was risky. I had to go out at night. And I knew it was highly competitive with guys. But then you're a hype woman. Yes, I for which artist? Hype woman. Like, I don't need to be a hype woman for an artist. Okay, so for, so explain your hype woman because really a uh, hype woman is for you like a hype man is for yeah. a, 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 an artist. Like you know, you be like hype hype woman. Those people in the club that hold the mic and hype you. Oh, yeah. that's an MC, guys. It's not an MC. Is there's there's an MC. MC. There's a hype woman. There's a there's MC. Mm. There's a, there's MC so hype woman. When someone is dancing, you just say go go. Okay, okay. So you did that for how many years? 
Um, done that for about how many years? Three, four years. Wow. Yeah. Was it okay. risky? It was. But was there a reason you decided to do that? Or it was just based on survival? Well, it's because first, I, I love to compete with guys. Okay. And two, I had it in me. You guys, like yeah. I had the, the talents, I had... He actually showed it uh, on the show. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. You did ah, I never slack on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> you did great. Fina, what's a no-no for you in a relationship? What's that one thing? Well, a couple things that you're like, listen, I yeah. cannot compromise. Yes. Yeah. So what? When, when, when the guy is stinging. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> when, when, when the guy is singing and when he lies, I don't like liars. But like, she started with a singing though, guys. Just remember that. Yeah. You're not doing it. Yeah. Uh, yes. What's your thoughts on this whole tribalism? Where, because I know in Nigeria it's a heavy thing. Um, if you're from a particular tribe, you're not allowed to get married to men in other tribe. Likewise, for men as well, usually yeah. they don't like. Certain women coming from a different tribe. Even here in Ghana, there's an understanding of that. Mm, yes. mm. Yeah. What's your thoughts on it? Well, you are loving your seat, don't you? I am. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> we'll be the judge of it. Exactly. <laughs> well, I feel tribe. Mm -hmm. Well, well, from my own state, actually, there are some tribe you hear. Which so, state are you from? I'm from Edo state. Okay. So and there. Do so you speak what language? I speak oh. Edo language. Edo language. Oh, and it's not Yoruba, it's not Igbo. No, it's not Yoruba. It's also different. Yeah, from the Maybe. south, south, oh. south oh, okay. of Nigeria. So, there are some places I can tell my dad, ah, that the man I want to get married is from here. We say, eh, never. You get. So, I don't know what it is to them. But me, I shall know that if I want to get married and the person is from maybe a tribe that I'm not supposed to get Forbidden. married to, I will. Okay. Yes. So. We will. We will because I don't know where they are having their issues from. It's hmm. been long. They've been on this thing since, since ages. And, and like, I always say that, listen, the reason they have behind it, sometimes it goes deeper than what we feel. Yeah. So sometimes, yes. anyway, who's your favorite Ghanaian musician? I like uh, Black Sheriff and Eugene uh, Kwame. Oh, Eugene Kwame! Oh, Eugene Kwame! Oh, Eugene. Eugene. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. So, do you know any of your songs? You know? I know. For uh, Black Sheriff, I like his Kwaku the Traveler and Soja. Mm -hmm. okay. Then for Kwame, I like, like, what's the name of that song? But I like that is Angela. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's a deal breaker for you in a relationship? And, and side note, would you ever leave a guy if he cheats on you? No. Okay. Uh, there's no rain for, there's no place that it doesn't rain. Oh, okay. Ah. Rain so everywhere. you believe that all men cheat? Well, not all men cheat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. But you would never leave a guy if he cheats on you. No. Uh, no. Well, what is that though? Give me a, enlighten me, honey. I would never leave a guy if he cheats because the person I'm leaving him for. I don't know that one's scary. But you know the implications of cheating. Let me let me let me take you to some few scary things so that let's see if you will still leave them. Okay. So for instance, you're dating someone who goes to sleep with someone who is a uh, who has who is evil spirit invested. Mm -hmm. They sleep with them and they carry all this spiritual wahala and bring it to you and sleep with mm -hmm. you. Do you not think that that's enough reason to not entertain a cheating boyfriend? And then there's the side of it that is, for instance, if your boyfriend didn't think it wise to protect themselves, they're going to carry infections from that relationship and bring it to you. So those are the extended uh, you know, conversations around yeah, cheating for me. Why, you know, I don't know. Well, there we go. There are different kinds of cheating. Okay. So, first, if I notice the guy is somebody that cheats frequently, like he cheats, I can't be with that kind of person. Yes. Yes. And there are some people that they cheat once in a while. Mm. Once in a while, not once. Mm, like once in a while. Like, it's not like it's a thing for them too much. Yeah. I can manage that type. Mm. But when it's chronic, I can't. So, Fina, you know, the moment you forgive a guy once mm -hmm. for cheating, mm -hmm. he yes. is definitely going to do it again. And now, my question is. When you break up with him because he cheated on you once, right. where you are going after? You just hide it better. So <laughs> you find a better person you because the thing is, is worse. So then you can bring your way from all these wahala well, because you don't I need see, it. If you are with a cheating man, yeah. stay there and be pouring your anointing or your peacefully. You see, here <laughs> there is an adage. What God cannot do? do. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so I was going to say that here in Ghana, there's actually an adage that goes like. Imagine the rise. Oh, sorry, Daya. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Papa. Okay. In the case that if you're afraid to leave a bad marriage or a relationship, mm -hmm. it will be difficult for you to find, find a better a one. What, what do you make of that as well? Well, uh, 
She's with me. You, you know, no, it's the I've been outside. So guys, as you can see, she's pouring the rice yeah. in yeah, the I'm stew. The we are about to have the final verdict of the Nigerian <laughs> jollof <laughs> rice <laughs> with and the Ghanaian help. help. And Ghanaian products. Why are you keeping that in your cell? Ghanaian help. Mm -hmm. Ghanaian assistance. We have, juice. we have juice. So the skills we have in. I'm a piano. Father Lord. Taste. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I. Please yes, stop playing. Yes, I. Yes, I. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. yeah. I mean, we'll manage. I mean, for my car purposes, we'll, we'll, we'll manage. manage. Yeah, yeah. Nah, we'll manage. Nah, nah. You, 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 know. you try, yeah. try, you try. Yeah. No, it's definitely better than I thought. Yeah. Oh, really? Than you yeah. thought? Yeah. Have you tried Nigerian Jello? It's my first time, actually. You've not? No. no. I'm not making mountains. Huh? But we know. But I know. Just I know what Jello taste like. You know, I mean, I've seen the process in cooking Nigerian Jello. And I mean, when you see that something that looks out. good, you know. <laughs> you know. Yeah, really you know it tastes good. So we have to wait for this food to be ready mm -hmm. to know what it tastes like. But yeah. in Ghana Jello, oh, ladies and gentlemen, you know it's going to be nice from the beginning. Uh, really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. But one, one thing for sure that I'm actually very excited. Um, I think this is actually my first time going out um, on the street. To help put smiles on um, people's faces. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's actually oh. my first time. So um, I'm actually I'm really excited looking for you. To it's, it. a, it's a good experience. You know, when embarking on this particular um, project, does it take you back to your moments where you felt like you didn't have help or you didn't have the resources mm. to do certain things? Does it, does it bring you any form of um, memories? Memories, or it takes you back to memory lane? Well, doing this, yes. Yeah. Given back, well, yes. nobody gave me when I was down, and I remember then when I'm going out and I see people, and I'm like, Oh God, if I get money, I'll just they cook food, can they give these people? I'll come because nobody gave me that, so uh -huh. I said, Okay, when I'm in that position, I want to help people, right? You get so, and whenever I'm doing it, it wow. just gladdens my heart. Most times, I don't care about how much I'm going to spend. When I did Street Media Queen in Nigeria, mm. I spent almost 10 million naira on that. Wow. Which is like how much dollars? Mm. 10 million naira is about how many dollars? I think it's about. Let, let, let me calculate this. <laughs> thing. <laughs> let me calculate Let's this. Thing. While you're calculating, if I'm to ask you who your best mate was in the house, who would it be? Best housemate in the house. Best yeah. housemate. Who was your best friend in the house? Amaka. Amaka. Yeah, yeah. Amaka was my best okay. friend. Are you guys still as close as you used to be? Mm, no, but we're still cool. You're still so cool. Yeah, no so size. Cool. No, no. Who, no. who did you dislike? Like, couldn't stand in the house? In the house? Yes. Yeah. Bella. But now outside, me and Bella, we are like this. Oh wow! So uh, rather your best friend, you're yeah. not even as close, but yeah. the person you don't really yes. like. Yes. Well, why, why didn't you like her the other time? Why didn't you like her? We were not just telling, like we are not just. So we are just always at each other. Yeah, you know it's the house now, and a lot of things will mm. happen. A lot of things will go down, and mm. so it was. We are not just compatible in the house. In the but don't you think maybe it was she was being strategic, mm. or you were being strategic? Were in the house. Yes, right? in the house. No, at least in the house. Before anything goes down, everybody sees what's happening. Mm. Okay. Everybody sees what's yeah. causing that trouble. Yeah, you get. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I don't know about any other person, but mm. for myself, everything ha that happened in the house and outside the house, it's real. Mm. And okay. how it's supposed. It's just happening, and we are going through. There's an upcoming reunion. Are you going to be a part of that reunion? Or is for the title? We're done with reunion. You're done with reunion. It has oh. not been aired. Oh yeah, been. exactly. So, so we we are still waiting for the the airing part yeah. of the reunion. Yeah, it's on nineteen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's going to be fire. Okay. What should we expect? It's going to be fire. Uh, just just that's for you fun. to find out. This is for the entertainment. It's okay. Serious. Okay. okay. I love reunion. Oh. It's always fire. Fine. I'll stay <laughs> tuned. Fire. I'll stay tuned. Yes. But I mean, before we get ready to see what the outcome of the jollof rice is, yes. yes. <laughs> let me ask you. Let's just go back to memory lane. It's always good to give thanks to God. Mm. It's always good to have a reflective moment mm -hmm. to see how far you've come. Mm -hmm. If I'm to ask you, as a person, what are some of the things that you would say? Wow, I've actually grown on this. There has to be a couple things. And I have grown past. Mm. Uh, first, I no longer have time to talk too much with people that want to trouble with me. Right. Mm. Yes, so when, you, when the person is just making noise. In real I, life or on social media? In real life. Also on social media. Okay. So I'm coming. This is me. So before I react, no longer I react. But now, 
I take it, I take it and take it and take it and then I can't anymore. I'll now remind you that wait. Even the fact that I am now thinner now, mm. I can still be the way I used to be and I'll show you, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. But lastly, I must say, like I said, being here for myself and knowing that there are kids out there that don't even have food on their table mm. and us being able to help you embark on this amazing journey to bless people it's out a pleasure. there. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank and thank you, you so much for choosing us as yes. well. But now, the final word is turn to the door. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, Let's check see. out the rice. Let's, Let's check, check out, out the rice. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, no go shame well. <laughs> Nigerian Jollof with Ghanaian help and Ghanaian products is finally <laughs> ready. Let's take a look at it and then whilst we have a look at it, we'll also start packaging. Yeah. Yes. Here for the street. 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 To yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Who's tasting first? I think you guys should take the lead. <laughs> You know, I said, you, as you, as know, you, know, you know, I said, Nigerian jollof is the very best of which you have agreed. Number two, you by have the way. Agreed. You number, have two. Um, number two. Please, where's the spoon? We need to start from somewhere. <laughs> I'm carrying spoon that will help me. It will aid me to taste. You don't want to do just, just distance and, 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 and I will taste my and prophesy. I shall come and prophesy. I, I, can I have a spoon, please? Let's oh. spoon here. Can I have a spoon, okay, please? Yeah. Okay. Pina? Mm. Take a spoon. Mm. The jello mm. has just consumed. Mm. See you. See you. Mm. See this life. No matter what you go through. <laughs> it's Chop face. Yes, it's face. And never you say Ghana jollof. <clears throat> but how are we tasting the jollof with no chicken? Add it to it. That's right. Yeah, I know. Like I know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, so. so. Ladies and gentlemen, mm. we have come to the conclusion that uh, just on this occasion, that Nigerian jollof is better than Ghana yeah. Jello. No, 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 you can't do that. We have we come are... to the conclusion Fina, that Fina. Nigeria Jello is better than Ghana Jello. Be coming down. Be no. Be coming down. No. Be coming down. no. <laughs> just on this particular occasion, yeah. just because no one from Ghana was cooking, he I'm won. Because you. you're the only person that cooked. But I've tried your if Ghana had, If we had a Ghanaian mm -hmm. um, person here cooking Jello, would have been it. But since you are the only sister, I just give it to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, oh, the right. jollof is really nice. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It has you it very taste much. every About single season, right? I must yeah. say, maybe, or maybe like nine out of ten. What? Nine, nine out, out of ten. ten. Please. Ten over, over ten, ten. minus nothing. Not ten. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, so let's start packaging the food. Absolutely. And then we'll hit the shoot. Yeah. 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 Yeah.